Welcome back class. This video will discuss the final two vocabulary words for unit number four and also how it connects to the unit and the central question as well. All right, so this uh, first word here is design. Design is the arrangement of the visual elements of design. So if you remember from earlier units, the elements of design refer to those seven words, line, color, value, texture, space, shape, and form. And I don't necessarily remember to I don't expect you to remember all of those, but just to have some insight as to what the elements of design mean. So when you repeat any of the elements, like when you repeat line or you repeat uh, a certain shape or form, that, that creates the design when you use those elements and you arrange them a certain way. So just like this sculpture down here, how this artist you know, arranged the different um, shapes of this sculpture, even the the lines you can see like the curvature lines and how it directs your your eye from one area to the other um, all these things are incorporated uh, to create that design so just be thinking about that while you're creating your sculpture that your design is specific to um, your sculpture and specific to the inspiration of your sculpture because remember your sculpture is supposed to represent a specific um, idea or, or message uh, so make sure that your design reflects that as well all right, so the design is very important. You just have to keep it in the front of your mind when making your sculpture. And lastly is movement. We talked about movement in the figure, uh, the figure drawing project, where we talked about fi uh, physical movement, where something's physically moving. But in this case, we're using the second half of the definition, which has to do with directing the viewer's eye around the entire composition. So here you see these arrows uh, going in this um, counterclockwise direction. You can see how this this abstract sculpture creates that sense of movement and motion that directs your eye around the entire thing. Now you still can't have physical movement, just like this uh, swimmer whose arm is going up and out over the water, swimming um, through this liquid here. Um, but it can also be physical and and um, has to do with the viewer's eye, where your eye follows one part of the sculpture uh, to the top, the bottom, the left, the right. It basically moves throughout the entire composition. Any strong sculpture, any strong artwork has a good sense of movement where the person looking at your artwork actually wants to look at the entire thing and one aspect directs your eye to another area of the artwork. And here's another abstract sculpture that has some physical movement and even um, viewer's eye movement where your eye goes around uh, one subject, one area to another. Oh, and then going to our final question here, our central question. Uh, here is how do artists collaborate to further the creative process we talked about this um, earlier on in lesson one but this is your final essential question for this unit uh, because you should have received some feedback from your peers during your last um, your lesson two submission and their feedback their criticisms were supposed to help guide you in refining and finishing your sculpture so as far as collaborating to further the creative process in this instance like i just said you're taking the feedback from others and making revisions based on their feedback and that furthers your creative process because you're making changes that you wouldn't normally have made or may not have made and you're also getting new insights so they might be seeing something you didn't already see or giving a suggestion as to what could be that already isn't um, but this is how an artist can collaborate in this project to further the creative process. All right, so even though this is your essential question for your learning log coming up, I still want you to answer it in this um, this entrance ticket just as a practice. And if you do a great job, you could always just cut and paste your submission for your entrance ticket for this lesson and paste it for your essential question for the learning log too, as long as you did a good enough job. But this will allow me to kind of gauge uh, your knowledge and your understanding up until this point so I can guide you in the right direction for the learning log. All right, so anyway, that concludes this video. Uh, just complete your entrance ticket uh, after closing out this video and make sure you visit me in the uh, lesson three instructional video so you know how to finish our final unit and how to get the best grade possible. Uh, and hopefully you guys have had a great time in this class and you've learned a lot of new things. And um, I can tell you already that you guys have created a lot of really cool and interesting projects. Um, and I personally have enjoyed my time so far. So. All right, I'll see you guys soon in the instructional video, and please message me if you have any questions. All right, bye, everybody.